Hello and welcome to Unexpected Results on the Sly Forever channel with the Fate Reforged pack. And uh we're gonna crack straight into it. I haven't been able to talk about many uh of the Dragons of Tarkir cards. That's that's not been a thing that's happened very much. And uh I'll probably do a video on it. So you can keep your eyes out for that most likely. Uh, so we're going to skip through all the ones that we've seen before once again. So Cunning Strike, we've seen that. Most of the commons are going to be skipped through. A Russian Cleric. Abzan Advantage. Avon Surveyor. Typhoid Rats. Ethereal Ambush. Ah, catching on my finger and thumb. Uh, Tessiger's Cruelty Tima Battle Rage Here's one that we haven't seen Return to the Earth It's an uncommon that we haven't seen That's quite a surprise actually Compared to the last pack where we went all the way to the uncommons Without seeing a new card um, So Return to the Earth is 3 and a green For an instant card Destroy target artifact, enchantment or creature with flying that seems pretty pretty good actually. In this set where there's two cycles of dragons, uh, along with a cycle of two cycles of enchantments, um, a full set of artifacts, and many other creatures with flying. In all honesty, um, it's probably going to be mostly used against dragons. Let's put it out there. Uh, possibly against Ascendancies and things like that. Uh, against the Sieges and against the um, Rune Marks. Could see some play against those. Uh, but yeah, seems pretty good. It's quite versatile, which I like. Full drop is a little bit high if you're just going to destroy an artifact or a weak enchantment. But again, if there's a Siege or an Ascendancy and they're going to pull a lead, a victory off it, then it's worth blowing that up. And if they pull one of the rare dragons, definitely a target for this. Easily. Just kill that thing straight away. Unless it's Silmagur. Uh, Sil... It is Silmagur, isn't it? The Demir coloured one. Uh, who has Hexproof, so you can't target him. Which is the one downside. We then go into our next uncommon. No, still commons. Um, Mardu Scout. Now we go to the Uncommons, with a Renowned Weaponsmith, which we have not seen before. Renowned Weaponsmith is the Tap Tap Concede card, which I quite like when I first saw it. Um, for one and a blue, he is a 1-3 Human Artificer creature, and he can tap to, do, to give two colourless mana to your mana pool, which you can spend to cast artifact spells or activate abilities of artifacts. This card is not very good in standard. It's it's just a 1-3 for 2. It's okay, but it's not great. Uh, in limited, it's a bit better, because it's a 1-3 for 2. And then in affinity, it's a good pull. In modern or EDH affinity, uh, EDH being Elder Dragon Highlander, which is a commander format, um, and Affinity being the Affinity cards back from Mirrodin and things like that uh, building a deck around artifacts so the two mana for artifacts and abilities of artifacts is really useful um, yeah, it also has a second ability which could be good, could be bad I haven't really been looking at the news around dragons. Um, for a blue and tap, search your library for a card named Heart Piercer Bow, which is, it's an okay artifact, it's not very good, but it's not awful. It could be, it's pretty situational is what it is. Um, or Vial of Dragonfire, which is going to be a artif an artifact from, probably an equipment, uh, but an artifact from Dragons of Tarkir. 
you then reveal the card that you've searched for and put it into your hand and then shuffle your library. So he's a, def he's a decent card. Um, good in affinity bots. Decent in limited. Not very good in standard. Sorry, renowned weaponsmith, but there's not many good artifacts in standard. We then go to our second uncommon, which is Misfire Adept. For three and a blue, it is a 3-3 three, three human monk with prowess, and whenever you cast a non-creature spell, target creature gains flying until end of turn. So he's similar to the the djinn monk that has flying and prowess, but he doesn't have to target himself. And he's a 3-3, three, three, so he's bigger. Um, he can give your massive, like Shunyu or whatever, uh, or your monastery mentor. You you can give them flying, which is really good. And then we have an elite scale guard, which I also haven't talked about. Um, for four and a white with the Absan watermark, he is a two three human soldier. So he doesn't trigger warriors, but he's not Mardu, so he doesn't need to. So that's okay. Um, when he enters the battlefield, he bolsters one, and whenever a creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it attacks, you can tap target creature defending player controls. So he seems really good actually in Abzan. Uh, his ability to bolster means there will be at least one creature with plus one plus one counters on it. Uh, if you have no other creatures, then because it's when he enters the battlefield, he can target himself. So he comes in as a 2-3 with an, a good ability for Absan, or he comes in as a 4-5 that whenever he attacks you tap down one of their defenders. It seems really good for 5. Uh, that ability is like a kind of weird outlast ability, but not outlast, so you don't have to tap them down, which is nice. It's a nice use of uh, bolster. And then our rare is an outpost siege uh, the second siege I've pulled, actually. Uh, so as I believe it was last time, possibly the time before, uh, as I explained with the sieges, they are a cycle of three, four, or five drop enchantments that when you, they enter, you pick cards or dragons, and they have different effects for each. Outpost siege is with is a three and a one, a uh, three and a red. So it's a full drop, which is average for the sieges. It's pretty good. Uh, with Khans, uh, if you pick Khans at the beginning of your upkeep, you exile the top card of your library, and until the end of your turn, you can play that card. So it, it basically gives you a second draw, but not an official second draw. So you technically draw it, but if you don't play it, it exiles. Um, and then if you pick dragons, whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, Outpost Siege deals one damage to target creature or player. So it's a bunch of burn every time something dies, which in Mardu is really good if you're running warrior and goblin token decks. Then that seems really decent. Uh, we then have a rugged highland and a spirit token. So pick of this pack is probably going to be Elite Scale Guard if you're running in Abzan. He's he's really good. The the Misfire Adept is a good Jeskai card. And Return to Earth is a really good green card that you can use to destroy the dragons. But I have to pick one of them. So I think it probably has to be. That's fairly limited. That's relatively limited. But this card, plus one plus one counters will be around forever, I feel. And so this card is probably the one that's going to get the most use in the future, in modern, in commander, even. If you make a counter based commander deck in Abzan colours, or if white counters become a thing later on, then he could be a really good card. And he is a really good card. So there you go, he is my pick of the pack. Elite Scale Guard. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.